What's up, everybody? Thanks for checking out Hunt, Shoot, Live. Pumped about today's episode, I've got another Vast Fire flashlight. This one is an EDC flashlight, so you're going to be able to carry this in your truck, carry this in your pocket. Everyday carry, tactical flashlight. I like the design. It is just one, one button operation on off, easy enough. Uh, but it's zoomable just by pushing in and pulling out. Now we're gonna test this thing out. Uh, it's dark outside, I'm gonna cut the lights off in the house, we're gonna check it out inside, and then we're gonna take it outside and we're gonna see how it does. But uh, just to tell you a little bit about this, I actually had some trouble finding it. They didn't name it very well. So if you wanna find it on Amazon, I'm gonna put a link in the video description. That'll take you right to this flashlight. But to search it, you would have to type in Vast Fire 1200 Lumen M-Lock flashlight. That's what pulled it up for me, or that's the one that it selects on Amazon. But uh, this thing comes in this less than stellar looking plastic case, but it's got a few items that, that it comes with. Uh, it did come with two of these 18650 rechargeable batteries. Uh, I use these in all of my hunting lights, so that was really good to have another one of those, or excuse me, two of those, and it only takes one. So you've got an extra to keep in the case if you need it. It comes with this M-Lock mount. Now, I did notice that you could find this flashlight uh, with some different mounts. I think they had a quick detach mount, or at least it looks like the same flashlight. Again, Vast Fire didn't really name it very well. Uh, it says VA501B on it, but that didn't help me find it. But this is the M-Lock version. So if your, uh, if your AR has an M-Lock rail on it, you can use that. Uh, it comes with the single battery charger that plugs in via USB to your computer. And it's got this pressure switch that you can uh, screw on the back instead of the standard cap that has the lanyard. And you've got a pressure switch to turn it on and off with on your rifle. So it's pretty affordable uh, considering, I guess. Uh, but what really matters is how will this freaking thing do when we cut the lights out? And that's exactly what we're about to find out. Okay, pitch black in my house. In my big vaulted ceiling here. Let's cut this light on. See how she does. The vast fire. No name. There it is, uh, panned out. And let me zoom it in. Damn, it's gonna be really nice outside. Really tight beam for distance. Mm, really nice. I mean, it's easily illuminating this room. It's a big old room. So, and again, this way. Right on. This is kind of stairwells here. Going down a stairwell and pitch black. Well, pitch black, stairwell. Let's take this bad boy outside. All right, I am outside now. As you can see, it is dark. Cut the vast fire on. Uh, that's 30 yards in front of me, my building is. Power box down there. It's probably 35, 40. Trees off in the distance there, you know, 45, 50 yards. But uh, let's check out this zoom. That helps tremendously. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, gosh. Oh, down the road there, man, I'm gonna say, looking at that big tree on the left right there, that's definitely 60 yards in front of me. That's a nice tight man. All right, let's check out my house. Camera's pointed at my house right now. Obviously, nothing. I am, and I'm, I've walked down to the bottom of my hill, so I'm 50 yards from my house now. Not terrible. You can focus. 
focus the band in a little bit. Brightens it up pretty good. Focus it in. Alright. Well, certainly not bad. For a one mode single handed operation adjustment flashlight. Again, it's 50, 60 yards. We'll say 60. And uh, uh, to speak a little bit to the width of that beam, because I know on the video I'm sure it doesn't do it justice, that's probably catching about a 10 or 12 foot wide area out there at 60 yards. So it looks smaller on the video than what it really is. Let me try to zoom in on that. bigger area than what it initially looks like. Probably 12, 12 feet by 12 feet square there of light. That's, like I said, maybe 60 yards in front of me. Well, you saw how it did. You be the judge. Follow the link in my video description to Amazon. You can check out the price, whatever it is currently at the time that you're watching this. And, uh, you know, you be the judge. I use these 18650 batteries a whole lot for hunting and they, they'll last three to four hours of continuous use. And this vast fire came with two of those batteries so you know I feel like you, you should get four to six maybe a little bit better total hours of constant usage out of this with two of those batteries. That's, that's really great and uh, they're great batteries. Use them a lot, recharge them a lot. And, uh, and they work fine. I've never had to replace any of mine, and I've been using them for years. So, uh, you know, you get your money's worth, even if you had to buy new of those batteries. That's another thing about them. If they're, <laughs> you can get all kinds of different of those 18650s on Amazon. So you could have more than the two that comes with this if you wanted to buy a few extra for uh, just a little bit of money. It's no, no big thing. So, you know, if you're looking for a good tactical EDC flashlight, maybe the Vast Fire is the right one for you. Follow the link, check it out on Amazon. And Vastfire, I've d I did a review of one of their infrared lights and they've got a lot of other hunting lights and, and products that you can find just by going to Amazon and typing in Vastfire. But uh, appreciate you guys for checking out Hunt, Shoot, Live. Hope you enjoyed this short episode. Be sure to check out Vastfire and their products. As always, God bless you. We'll see you next time.